Bye. 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 Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and for today's video, we will be thrift flipping or upcycling some of my old clothes. Actually, yung mga damit na DIY natin is from my mom's or my grandfather's closet. They don't use them anymore so I decided to why not revamp them and turn them into more trendier pieces. Since umiiwas naman tayo sa Shopee and we can't really go out to buy new clothes, I decided to just make my own or at least try to. The things that I will be doing will be inspired by other trip flipping videos on YouTube and on TikTok. I'll link down below the specific ones. But ita try natin kung kaya ng beginner sewing skills ko. Just a disclaimer, I am the beginner est of all the beginners out there. This is my first time trying to do anything like this, so if they turn out ugly, shh quiet na lang tayo dun. I will be using a sewing machine for all the DIYs, but you can still recreate them by using fabric glue or simple hand sewing, so don't worry. If kaya ho, kaya nyo rin for sure, because I haven't tried sewing in a long time, and the last time I did, it was pretty ugly. <laughs> Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I try to make videos every week, so click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And if you're still interested, let's get right into it. So for our first project, we have my Lola's old polo shirt. Actually, sobrang useful pa nito, pero hindi na niya nagagamit, kaya he decided to give it to me. Obviously, it's very big and has a straight cut that doesn't flatter my body very much. So I decided to crop it to emphasize my waist more. First step is to try it on and find your desired length. Then, I'll mark this off with a pin para may guide tayo for later. Lucky enough, my shirt already had lines to guide me. But if you don't, go ahead and use your ruler to get a straight cut. If you want a more professional look, you can leave about an inch of extra fabric so you can hang the shirt afterwards. You can do this by cutting it a little longer and folding it twice and sewing it. But since this is cotton, the edges won't fray as much, so I decided to let it be and tamad na rin kasi ako. So here is the final look. <laughs> It is also an old polo shirt from my Lolo, but I wanted to do more than just cutting kasi alam yun na naman kung paano gawin yun. So I decided to crop it and cinch the waist for a more unique look and to allow it to hug our curves even more. So I did the same thing and added a pin to mark my desired length. Before we do anything, make sure to turn your shirt inside out. Then grab a ruler and create a line dun sa kung gaano kahaba mo gusto. Then another line about an inch or two below that. Make sure you nakash yung garter na gagamitin mo between the lines. After that, we can cut along the second line. I actually left a little more space, but natakot lang ako, you don't have to do that. Make sure that you measure your garter around your waist where you want the shirt to sit. I forgot this step, but there you go. Then, it's sewing time. First, I pin together the two lines that we made into a fold. Then, I sew them together, making sure to leave a gap so we have a place to put the garter in. After that, grab your garter and attach a safety pin to its end. Then, we'll put this through around the hole that we made around the shirt. And lastly, sew together the ends of the garter and close the gap that we made, and we're done. Here is the final look.
After DIY, dito ako medyo ng kirap. I have this old shirt from my mom's closet and sana di siya magalit kasi ang cute pa nito. But we barely use it anymore and nagiging pambahe na lang. So I decided to make it into a trendy tie-around crop top inspired by Shopee. First, just like before, make sure that your shirt is inside out. I mark where I want my shirt to end, then crop it to my desired length. After that, to make the overlapping effect at the back, I turn it around and mark the diagonal lines across the back from the edge of the collar to the edge of the shirt, and cut that as well. Cut the remaining fabric around the collar. And obviously, magkukulang ng fabric yung isang side, so I'll measure out and cut the piece to attach to that. Ang hirap mag-explain, so here's me trying harder. So this is what it looks like right now. Ayan, ang idea kasi is mag-overlap ito at ito. But since we I just cut it in diagonal, I have to attach another piece here para mag-overlap talaga siya like that. And then I'll tie it over here. Anyways, after that, it's time to attach the fabric to the shirt itself. So I'll be pinning those together and sewing it carefully. As I'm sewing, I'm folding the raw edge inside for a cleaner look. Next up are the strings. I'm measuring out two long pieces from the excess fabric, each around a ruler thick. These can be as long as you want. Then, I'm folding it in half and sewing the edges together. Make sure that you sew one end shut. In an attempt to turn this inside out, grab a pen and push it through the closed edge. Work the fabric around it and turn it inside out for a cleaner finish. Last thing we have to do is attach this to our shirts and we're done! Here is the final look. For a last DIY, I have this old shirt from my own closet. It's up to you to decide if I ruined a perfectly good shirt. But this doesn't really fit me anymore and it's kind of plain for my already boring style. So I decided to recreate this wraparound crop top from the Urban Outfitters. First, turn your shirt inside out and lay it flat. Then, I grab my old sleeveless crop top that fits me very well and I fold one of the straps down and trace around it using it as a guide. Go ahead and cut along the lines, making sure that you leave about an inch of space for the hem. Then it's sewing time. Hem the sleeves and the neckline of the shirt by folding it inside twice and sewing. You can use pins as a guide if you want. This is quite a lengthy process, so make sure you take your time. Then, sew the side of the shirt together doing a simple straight stitch. Do this only until your desired length of the top. After that, it's time to cut the straps. Make them as thick as you want, but make sure to not cut it all the way. So this is what it currently looks like when worn. As I said, I am no way a pro at this, so I had to do some adjusting. I went ahead and re sewn the sides to make it tighter, also shortening the length by adding a hem. And I made the straps longer by attaching two strips that I cut from the excess fabric. And after that, we're done. Here is the final look. One mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars.
Outro, but if you enjoyed this one make sure to click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and make sure to follow me on instagram and all my other social media accounts thank you bye bye